let's first analyze the, um, a couple of freebies by analog obsession that were recently updated first uh, the frank um, equalizer this is an analog inspired eq all right and on this update you can now resize the plugins like this right pretty cool if you make it bigger you just put the mouse there and double click it and it uh, goes back to default right another update is that uh, these couple of plugins are now available for pro tools users um aax uh plugin format all right so in case that you are a pro tools users user you can now use uh, most of the analog obsessions um catalog also another important update is, is uh, the dsp was improved on the, this plugins so now they have a better uh, cpu performance all right i noticed that uh, testing this this couple of new uh, updates and let's analyze this plugin first with this eq curve analyzer all right so at the moment you turn on the plugin it adds a bit of coloration but very very subtle you s see here some uh, changes in the eq curve at the moment i t turn it on right so you have here a uh, high pass filter okay and then you have a boost and attenuation control pretty much like the Pultec eq right so this will give you a very powerful and musical low end so you boost with one knob and you attenuate with the other creating this um, curve okay and then you have a mid frequency control for boosting and cutting also it's a wide curve very musical and also you have here a high shelf okay boost or cut and a low pass filter or high cut like this and input and output you turn off and turn on the plugin also with this io and if you click in the analog obsession mm, logo you enable over sampling that it's useful to avoid digital distortion and uh, aliasing distortion in higher frequencies especially right useful for mastering i always mention this about analog obsession plugins all of the plugins at this point i think have this feature all right so let's now analyze the other plugin that it's on this list the big brother of the frank this is the frank cs and let's enable it this is a channel strip right it also uh, has some some analog uh, vibes and coloration so you have the eq section at the top and the compression and uh, saturation here at the bottom part of the plugin so you have a high pass filter then you have the low band boost and cut and here you can choose the frequencies that you are, are boosting or cutting right could be from 20 hertz all the way up to 100 and pretty cool and uh, also Pultec style type of eq the mid band right you can choose also the frequency all the way up to 12.5 k you double click on any parameter and it resets also you have the high band here and you can choose also the the frequency right you have also a high cut or low pass filter and and you choose also the frequency of the high pass All right pretty cool and down below down here you have the compression section uh, but first you have the solid state and tube uh, preamp uh, saturation right you enable it with this with this couple of controls 
and then you have the usual controls of a compressor like the attack fast medium and slow you see there the milliseconds fast 5 and 30 milliseconds uh, which I, I don't think you ne you don't need uh, more uh, settings and parameters than this right with this three um, amounts you're gonna pretty much uh, do everything the same with the release fast medium and slow and the threshold control you have a meter here for the grain reduction in decibels ratio from 1.5 to infinity and then the mix pretty cool that you have a mix also 0% is uh, unprocessed signal and 100% processed signal and finally the general output volume all right so let's now test this plugin is out here on the drums first. Let's start with the Frank plugin, right? The EQ. Okay, high shelf. Pretty cool highs. And let's attenuate some of the lower mids, but then put back on the low end. Before. And with some subtle um, parameters here and values uh, you're gonna hear a more powerful low end due to this uh, very musical EQ curve before right I'm I am not being too extreme with them all right and now let's check out the Frank CS let's use some compression here Let's enable some some uh, preamp um, saturation. I like to use slow attack time, fast release time, ratio of four to one. It's okay for me and the threshold to reduce. You hear a bit of saturation, especially in the kick drum, right? Before. It's cleaner. If the drums were already uh, punchy, now they are a bit more. All right, let's also test this couple of plugins here on the bass guitar that it's very, very dynamic. It's very out of control, right? Some notes are jumping all over the place and that's not good for the bass. So. No other processing on the bass, right? Only this couple of plugins. So let's enable it here. Nice high end. All right, let's uh, reduce some mids. A 
attenuating and boosting. I think a bit cleaner and um, brighter also and with more power in the low end but just a bit and uh, now let's crush it with this channel strip right let's use the fastest attack time also fast fastest release time and let's add some saturation why not a higher ratio 6 to 1 and let's crush it with the threshold Twelve decibels of gain reduction or more. Now let's compensate. Before awesome. Super, super controlled. Let's uh, listen to it in a full mix. Gonna disable the vocals for now. Without compression. The bass guitar gets fuller every time, right? Not not only in some parts because it was very dynamic, very inconsistent, and now we have a fuller bass sound due to its consistency and to this heavy compression. Right, I think it it's, uh, stands out in the mix in a better way. All right, so finally, let's check out this couple of plugins here on this vocals that are also super, super dynamic and very inconsistent. If you are a subscriber of this channel for some time, you're going to know this song already by my good friend Bobby Torres from Frightbox Recording. So let's use first the Frank. Frank Jr., you could call it. <laughs> I would never wow. Let's remove some low end. I would never wow to complicate your life. Add some brightness. I would never wow. Oops. It was off. <laughs> Sorry. I would never wow to complicate your life. Yeah. Here's the reassurance. Thinner vocals, right? To fit better in the mix. I would never wow to complicate your life. Here's the reassurance of why we, why we'll be alright. I've never been so sure. I'd like to remove a bit of low mids with this. I would never wow to complicate your life. Here's the reassurance of why we, why we'll be alright. Cleaner, less boxy. I would never wow to complicate Four. your life. Here's the reassurance of why we, why we'll be alright. Pretty cool, alright, and let's quickly add some compression also to fix this incons inconsistency in the vocals so let's turn on some saturation a fast attack time as well medium release time ratio of 4 to 1 let's check it out 
I would never want to complicate your life. Yeah. It's the reassurance of why we, why we'll be alright. I've never been so sure. Now let's compensate. I would never want to complicate your life. It's the reassurance. We can remove some highs if we need it with this. I would never want to complicate your life. It's the reassurance of why we, why we'll be alright. I've never been so sure. I would never want to complicate your life. It's the reassurance of why we. Now we can sit this vocal in the mix with the output. Listen here how it was without compression. Right, some words are lost there and phrases with compression. We could do some more. Some plosives could be removed with a high pass filter. Those those piece. Alright, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool plugins by Analog Obsession.